let's look at another sense organ, the ear. What is the job of the ear? Seems like an easy question, but there are actually three different jobs parts of your ear are doing. Hearing is the obvious one, but your ear also is important for your balance and pressure regulation. As I go through the parts of the ear, I will also point out which of these three jobs it is doing. Here is a cross section of your ear to see all the parts, including those inside your head. The ear is divided into three regions, the outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. First, your outer ear. It has two parts, the pinna and auditory canal. The pinna is the part of your ear you see and probably think of when talking about an ear. The pinna is made up of cartilage and skin. It has the shape it does to funnel sound waves to the auditory canal. Your auditory canal is the hole of your ear. It's where you try to stick your finger to scratch an itch. The auditory canal takes the sound waves the pinna has funneled towards it and it channels them towards the middle ear. Both the pinna and auditory canal then help with the ear's job of hearing. The middle ear begins with a tympanic membrane which is also known as your eardrum. The tympanic membrane stretches across the end of your auditory canal, and it moves as sound waves run into it. On the other side, there are three little bones called ossicles. These bones are the malleus, incus, and stapes. Their more common names are hammer, anvil, and stirrup. They all touch each other, and the malleus touches the tympanic membrane while the stapes goes through what is called the oval window. When the tympanic membrane moves, it causes the malleus to move, which then causes the incus and stapes to move as well. Their vibrating back and forth amplifies the sound. All of these aid the ear in hearing. The eustachian tube connects your middle ear to your mouth and nose. This is where pressure regulation comes in. This tube helps regulate the air pressure in your middle ear since the tympanic membrane blocks access to the auditory canal. When you pop your ears, you change the air pressure in your middle ear to better match the air pressure in your auditory canal. You've probably noticed this is useful when you're riding on an airplane. Your inner ear has three areas, the vestibule, semicircular canals, and the cochlea. Helping your balance is the job of the vestibule and semicircular canals. The vestibule has two small sacs filled with fluid, which establish your head position. It tells your brain where your head is, if it is up or bent down. This is also called static equilibrium, static as your head is not moving. The semicircular canals are these, and they help identify head movement or dynamic equilibrium. Each one is filled with fluid and is going a slightly different way. As you move your head, the fluid inside moves and sends signals to your brain. Depending which semicircular canal sends the signal tells your brain if your head is moving side to side, tilting, or up and down. Motion sickness happens when your body and ears tell your brain different things. For example, sitting on a boat, your body is telling your brain you're sitting and not moving, but your ears tell your brain that you are moving. The cochlea is the last part we'll look at, and its job is hearing. The cochlea is also fluid filled and has specialized hair cells inside the coils. The stapes vibrating through the oval window of the cochlea causes the fluid inside to move. The fluid hits and bends these hair cells as it moves. The hair cells convert this movement into nerve impulses that then travel to your brain. Depending on how the hair cells move and which ones, 
your brain interprets these impulses into meaning, such as this sound means there are birds nearby, or this means something glass must have just broken. There you have the parts of the ear and how they help the ear to regulate pressure, balance, or hear.